Hello and welcome to the first of my Welsh Board A2 Biology series on ATP. Now ATP is what is considered as the universal energy currency. It basically drives every single bi biological molecule reaction ever. First we're going to talk about its structure as, it, as it's very important at A2 level that you know its structure. This is the amine base, so if you previously did nucleotides in your biology course then it is basically full, full of nitrogen bases and they can be slightly modified for nucleotides but this one remains constant. This is a 5 carbon sugar or pentose and this is the triphosphate part. This is what makes adenine triphosphate adenine triphosphate. Now one of the, when one of these phosphates groups break off it releases 30 kilojoules of energy. Once those 40 kilojoules of energy are released it makes the surrounding chemical reaction more reactive as it has more energy and that particular chemical reaction is either at or above its activation energy or the energy required to start a chemical reaction. So for example, if I had a protein channel here and I wanted to send a molecule through my channel like this, but it was so big that it couldn't fit through the channel and it needed, it needed to change shape. So ATP would come along and the phosphate would break off in the presence of water. Water is very important as you, we will find out in the two chemical reactions to make ADP plus a phosphate plus energy. I'm just going to call it E because I haven't got any space. So the, pho so the phosphate will be floating around here somewhere and the energy would be used to trans to manipulate the protein channel and actively transport the glucose <laughs> along the membrane. So we're going to talk about the actual chemi chemistry now and what you need to rem you remember for storing energy in ATP. So if you have ATP and water, then this makes ADP plus the phosphate plus the energy. I'm just going to call it E again. And it is catalyzed by the enzyme ATP synthase. Synth being the prefix, I am creating, I am synthesizing a new molecule. And A's being, it is an enzyme. The second reaction you have to remember is energy, I'll call it E again, plus the phosphate, plus. ADP this makes ATP plus water now this particular reaction is in dynamic equilibrium why is it in dynamic equilibrium because the concentrations of these two things that happen is simultaneously throughout throughout the body. The hydrolysis of ATP to ADP requires only one chemical reaction. This is true as only one enzyme is needed in order for it to be converted from ADP in the phosphate or from ATP to the ADP and the phosphate in energy. But energy is needed for both processes. Energy is released when ATP is bro broken down, and, and energy is required if ATP and the phosphate makes ATP. ATP releases energy for many chemical reactions going on throughout the cell. This is very true, and I have more examples later on in this tutorial is known as the universal currency as most cell processes use ATP to provide the energy needed to drive the reaction. Yes, if a chemical reaction is above the activation energy 
and is more likely to cause successful collisions. But more on that in the chemistry tutorials. When a phosphate molecule is transferred from ATP to another molecule, it makes it more reactive and so lowers the activation energy of that molecule. So this is a very nice way of saying it if the examiners ever have a question on it. Uh, I know they love love to give you those written questions on ATP, but I, I hopefully I should go through those shortly. Definitions now. Activation energy is the energy required to start a chemical reaction, but I've mentioned that lots of times. The addition of a phosphate to ATP is phosphorylation. Say that in the mirror a few times, and hopefully you'll be able to pronounce it. Took me a little while. Okay, we're going to talk about the three types of phosphorylation now. Oxidative photophosphorylation occurs on the membranes of the mitochondria during aerobic respiration. Photo means it is being stimulated by light photons. Phosphorylation is the addition of a phosphate to ADP. And the oxidative just means it is in the process of oxygen. Photophosphorylation is is, the is again the stimulation of um, by phosphorylation being stimulated by light photons it occurs on the membranes of the chloroplast during photosynthesis substrate level ph phosphorylation occurs when the phosphate group is transferred from donor molecules to ADP ADP and ATP the roles of ADP ATP are metabolic processes, active transport, and the synthesis of molecules within cells. So metabolic processes would be to build new muscle tissues, synthesize DNA, um, divide cells in processes like mitosis. Active transport, as I as I mentioned earlier, energy is needed to change the shape of carrier proteins to allow complementary molecules. Complementary molecules, they must be the same shape, must be, must be, must be the same shape to pass through. Synthesis of molecules of rigid cells and the secretion of the molecules by endocytosis and, ex and exocytosis. The, both of these processes require energy from ATP. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want any more information or um, you want to find out anything more about ATP, then drop me a comment or a message on YouTube. Um, thank you for watching.